Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how you can schedule a PG agent jobs using PG admin 4 tool and I will show you the execution of it as well. So first I will show you that I had installed PG agent jobs. If you have missed that, uh, you can watch that. I will give the link in the video description. You can get it from there. So, okay, so uh, first you need to have the pages in jobs also installed with your server. So I have already installed it, but uh, as I expand, I can see there is no jobs as of now. Okay, so first let's uh, create a table so that we can see efficiently that how the pages agent jobs work. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create a table, create table, say jobs. Okay, and I'll take one. Uh, column say entry jobs with uh, timestamp okay with uh, timestamp uh, data type and also I can define the default as uh, now okay so I can create the table okay the table is created let me show you here in the public schema I need to refresh it okay so here we get the table sorry this one jobs table okay the table is here now what I'll do I'll create the page agent job so now let's go to page agent right click on this go to create and select page agent job click here now we can give one name here say job one okay it is enabled we can disable anytime so for example if you don't need uh, a job to execute instead of dropping you just uh, simply you can disable this one okay so for now we can enable there are job classes as well there are many of these i'll cover one by one these things in the some other video for now let's keep it routine maintenance host agent option is also there uh, we don't need to mention it uh, specifically if you have the host agent uh, for that you can also mention okay so now let's uh, we can give a suitable comment like uh, uh, test job like this okay this has no uh, effect on your execution okay next uh, is steps when you first time click here there will be nothing so you need to click on the plus sign okay we need to we can add one job step here so let's say step one i can you can give any name I, i've given step one okay so in the step one what are there okay if step one is enabled or disabled we can control that from here and what kind of uh, execution we are doing if it is it is a sql or batch mode or local or remote if in case local it will will get the database from the local okay in case of remote we need to specify the connection string okay so for now uh, we'll keep the local and here you you can select the database from or uh, to which database you want to uh, execute that page uh, and job okay so for me it's postgres uh, you can select dvd rental or if you have any other database so you need to uh, select that accordingly as per your requirement so here also you can give any uh, comment let me uh, so I have given this one step one comment you can give anything okay the important part is this one so what exact code to be executed we have mentioned that it would be SQL code right the kind of uh, step one so it must be SQL code so let me give the insert query so basically what I am trying to do is whenever the job will executed and it will insert one data into this uh, table jobs table with the uh, column is entry job with timestamp okay at so that we can see at what time the job is executed okay so this is a good approach to start with then values in the values I can specify this okay uh, so I'm inserting the current timestamp okay this one is completed now let's move to okay you can control here as well if if uh, by chance this uh, job whatever step you have created fails so on error what will do it will mark it as success or ignore or fail okay obviously we want to see the error if in case it fails we can get it from logs those things i'll cover in other videos okay so now go to schedule 
in the next step if you go here you will find it blank so click on plus now click on this one and give a name let's say scheduler one so th this defines that uh, at what time and what is the interval uh, of uh, this job to be executed and what will be the repetition okay the scheduler i have given the name and this is also enabled now i'll give one start date uh, remember this uh, start date is uh, com uh, it's a uh, mandatory uh, the end date is not end date if you want to uh, if you don't know uh, at uh, like uh, how long you want to execute this one this job so you can uh, leave it blank and if you know you can give anything okay so you can give here as well like uh, scheduler one comment like this whatever so it's you can do okay so important thing is this one what is the repetition okay means the frequency of the pages and job execution so for this if you want to select uh, say you, you want to execute on monday and wednesday or any particular day so you can select that one okay so you can select all or you can remove anything like you can play with these things okay as per your requirement same goes for the month days at on which day it will be executed uh, you can select that at on the first day or second day or last day or any day whatever is uh, applicable to your requirement otherwise you can select months as well by month name okay for this month it will be executed and this for this month it won't be so like this you can select and hours also you can select for which hours you want to schedule it the repetition and minutes so i'll select all minutes so basically what i am doing if even if i remove these things so uh, what it uh, says if i would if i save with these things since i haven't mentioned anything it will take automatically everything okay if i do this and if i do this so they are both the same thing okay so now i have selected all the minutes so what will happen whenever my server is on like pg admin is on or uh, sorry pg admin, not pg admin the postgres sql server if you have postgres sql server on remote so that service must be up and running okay if you shut down that server so it will the pg agent job won't be executed that is like a very obvious thing so what i have done i have uh, scheduled my pages and job for every minute so that means uh, for every minute like for every hours for every day for every month and for every week uh, it, it won't check on which day it is running or what so every minute it will get executed so uh, it it will run every minute now i click on save but before that i'll show you the sql code okay uh this is the U ui tool uh, using that this we have uh, we have like uh, created this job we have uh, configured this one but at the back end this sql queries are getting executed so i'll share this sql queries as well uh, for a reference in the video description you can check them okay now i what i'll do i'll click on save so everything is done just let me verify okay so it is saved okay the job is created now let's see the data whenever this jobs will execute so we'll get one entry into this table okay as of now we don't have any entry so if i wait for a minute and see so then we'll get a job but instead instead of waiting suppose uh, this one i'm uh, executing for every minute so i can wait one minute but uh, if you can't wait for one minute and you want to run it ad hoc uh, approach so right click on the job and then click on the run now it will run uh, at that moment itself but let's first check uh, it to run automatically through the scheduler so we are waiting for a minute to complete that is uh, on 00, zero it will be executed i believe okay as of now it is not executed let's wait for a few seconds okay so now let's see okay the entry is not here okay i have figured out the issue uh, if i open this one and i show you 
so I have missed this into okay so insert into jobs let's save it again now if I see okay it is not executed yet now let's see if it is executed okay so uh, it got executed at this time okay uh, this is the date this is the seconds like uh, 31 seconds now if I run again so we don't have data so now let's run one ad hoc one okay I have run now immediately okay so now we get another record that is executed in 31 minute and 23 second first one was executed in 31 minute and 3 seconds and this one is 31 minute and 23 seconds if I wait for another minute or some seconds let's say uh, another 15 seconds we'll get another entry okay at this point the job will be triggered and we'll get another entry so this way uh, the pages and jobs work so this was very simple and uh, uh, like uh, without any logic example just to uh, start with the configuration of pages and jobs so in the next videos i'll cover m some more example i'll show you how to deal with the stored procedure functions and trigger so lot of things uh, are there and lots of possibilities are there and i'll also show you how to take uh, backup of uh, your database using pages and jobs and uh, how we can uh, most of uh, like uh, uh, questions arrive that okay uh, this pages and jobs work for only postgres database not for other databases so i'll cover all those things uh, solutions in the upcoming videos so if you see we are getting records in every minute it is getting executed so this is how it works and if you had missed other video previous videos that how to set up pages and jobs you can watch that video also so let's meet in the next video with uh, another topic so till then take care bye bye